the Affinity Photo Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the Pixelate filter. Now, Pixelate filter, you can see the effect here, applied to an image. Just going to undo that, and I'm just going to go all the way back there. You can find it in the Filters, and Distort, and Pixelate. And you just apply it like that, and you can, of course, go all the way up. Basically what it does, takes the underlying colour and makes a block from it, a square block. Unfortunately, there's no sort of other features. It'd be nice if got thin features or maybe certain, whatever. But unfortunately, in this, it can only be to produce square blocks. Now, I'm gonna apply that. Now, if you actually wanna use blending modes, there isn't, there's no, if you go over here, layer, live filter, there's no pixelate filter for there. So what you can do, just quickly go to layer and duplicate. So you've got that, and then you've got over there, makes that, that selected, filter and distort, and pixelate. Just modify that so you can set that up to there and then you can just go over here and you can say lighten to create a nice lighten effect there or just use a pasty to create very subtle blocks across the image as well. Cancel. Okay there's another other things you can do you can of course apply it more than once so you can just go to filters and distort and I'm just gonna pixelate and I'm gonna apply light effect there and then maybe apply another effect. So you can just go here, motion blur. So you can create a nice, interesting, sort of blocky effect. Now, when you've actually created maybe multiple effects, obviously one of the best things to do is go into the view menu, studio, and then macros. And you can actually sort of save this as an action or macro, which you can apply. Modify it and turn that around to create some interesting sort of... Then, of course, once you've done that, you can actually go here again, filters, and distort and pixelate again, and again, change that. And of course, you can also add color into it as well. So now, what I'm gonna do, push that back. Just go to filters and distort and pixelate. Go there, put it to about there. Now, you might not want blue result, or blue blocks. You might turn around and say, well, actually, I would like something slightly different. Of course, there are options such as layer and new adjustment layer, maybe use channel mixer. So just get that, and you can then make that even more blue, or that red, and so on and so on. And of course you've got blending modes there as well, so you can just go and create some very interesting colourful block designs using these layer adjustments as well, along with the pixelate filter. Okay, so that's another option. Put that back to start, and now another one you can do, just go to channels. If you've got the view and studio and channels, where is channels? Channels there, it's over here. So you can select the red and then go to filters and again use distort and pixelate. So change that. Now you can apply the same obviously to green and blue, but you don't have to. So you can actually just go to green and you can go then go to filters, distort and pixelate. And again, just modify that to a different setting apply you don't have to apply it obviously with all of them and you can go just go back to the other one and then you can see the effect there you've got a nice sort of blue green very interesting pixelate effect there now another thing you can do with pixelate and probably what most people will be actually using it for say like blurring out an image sort of creating a so just go over here to the marquee and just select there and go to filters and distort and pixelate straight away you can create a nice sort of that effect very quick and easy so that's it just to run through and there's probably obviously hundreds of other things you can use at the time and much more so i hope you found this tutorial of interest thank you much